Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use delete method with the API. So in the previous videos, we learned that how we can use the get method, post method, put method. And if you want to watch this video, link is given in the description box. And please subscribe the channel for more Laravel videos and more JavaScript videos also. So now these are the points of this uh, video. First of all, we will learn that why we use the delete method. Then we will set up our postman for delete API and uh, we need to make at least one router for this delete API and one function inside the controller where we can just write the logical for logic for delete this uh, record. And uh, after that we will test our API with the postman and at the last I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box. So uh, my first uh, question is uh, why we use the delete method in API, right? So reason is that sometime we need to delete the record from the database that time we can use the delete method right yes you can also delete the data with the put method with the post method with the get method also but delete method is uh, basically a standard for deleting the data and uh, with the route you can just identify that uh, what i actually this code will do right that's why we use the delete method for deleting the data otherwise you can use any method whatever you want so now uh, let's see how we can just set up the delete method in the postman for the delete API, right? So you just need to here select the delete option and here you can put your uh, record. And if you just want to send some data, you can just use here row and uh, JSON data from here, right? And you can write here your JSON data, whatever you want. But if you just want to delete a simple record, then you don't need to just use the body part of uh, your request. You can just simply use here like this record and api this will be the, your root of your uh, api and then let's say delete and your id name what you what do you record you want to delete so let's say you just want to delete the record 10th right then you can use this and uh, when you just hit it then your 10th record will be deleted with the 10 id or you can see that right and when you send the 5 id the fifth record will be deleted right like this so uh, this is a simple scenario for setting up your uh, uh, postman with a delete request. So now let's uh, see that how we can just uh, use the uh, delete method with the route. So just use here route and delete and then you can put any URL let's say device or uh, delete whatever you want to use your URL and in the second parameter just use your uh, controller class and then in a second value of this array you can use method where you, that you want to call off this uh, controller so now let's define a delete method here function delete and uh, just simply return here something like uh, for a moment let's return some hard code values like result record has been deleted or something right and we are just sending the data from here like i just want to delete the 10th record that's why i need to just use a parameter also with the api so just use here slash with id and let's get this id inside the delete record like this and if you just want to check it out this id this is working or not then you can use your id like this for a moment and now let's try to hit it now you can see that record has been deleted and this is our id that we are just sending from here so you just put here three then you will get here three also that's great now let's uh, because this is a hard code data this is not actually deleting so now let's uh, delete here the data as you know in the previous video we already make, uh, created a, a model here for the device so use this model and this is also imported here and you can see that we use here in the last videos and now just take a variable like device and just use here uh, device colon colon find and uh, let's put here id now with that it will just get the specific id from the database and now we can use a delete device arrow 
delete method right like this and you can just store this data in a sign inside any variable like result or something and uh, let's put here if data is deleted then uh, dollar result will have a true value and we can just simply put here like uh, uh, record has been deleted right else we can use some another value for return like uh, result delete operation is failed right and uh, let's remove this extra text from here now let's uh, try to id delete any id so these are the ids that we have uh, from 1 to 8 and 6 is not actually present here so let's say i just want to delete here id 3 only that we actually returned here and record has been deleted that means when i whenever we will just refresh it there should be id 3 will be not here right and here you can see that again let's try to delete the id 8 and you can see that this is again deleted you can check it out after refreshing the data like this so this is a simple way that how we can delete uh, the record now it's time of question uh, my question is how you can delete the multiple record with the api right so you can comment it out in the comment box and uh, please subscribe my channel like this video and don't forget to uh, uh, put your reviews in a comment box also so bye bye take care and god bless you